Hello. The last few videos we learned about set and set operations and now we can start counting things in sets. So this whole process of counting elements in a set is called combinatorics. And the way that we count it, the way that we denote that we're counting is we use the little n and then parentheses and then the set. So for example, n parentheses a here says number of elements in set a. So for example, say that A is a shopping list and I just need to buy milk, broccoli, and soy sauce. Then the number of things in that set is three. And we could say N of A, or the number of elements in A is three. Okay, let's do another example. Um, say my cycling team has 10 members. So the members are Christina, Hama, Abian, Ashley, Aaron, Maria, Madeline, Milo, Megan, and Camilla. Now, if we are interested in counting the number of people with curly hair and the number of people with brown eyes, let's denote two sets, B and C. C is the set of all riders with curly hair. So that would be Hema, Abian, Aaron, Maria, and Megan. And then B is a set of all the riders with brown eyes. And that would be the set Christina, Hema, Abian, Ashley, Madeline, Megan, and Camilla. Okay, so how many riders have curly hair? In other words, what is N of C? The number of riders in set C is five. We can just go over to C and count the number of people in that set. We've got five, Hema, Abian, Aaron, Maria, Megan. Okay, now how about the number of people with brown eyes? There are seven there. Uh, Christina, Hema, Abian, Ashley, Madeline, Megan, and Camilla. Okay, now let's look at the intersection just to practice with intersection a bit. So first, what is the intersection of C and B? In other words, who has both curly hair and brown eyes? That would be Hema, Abian, and Megan. So how many people is that? That's three people. We've got N, of C intersect B equals three. Okay, so that is how many people have both curly hair and brown eyes. Now let's look at how many people have brown eyes and or curly hair. So we're gonna count them if they have brown eyes, if they have curly hair, or if they have both of these characteristics. So let's start off just by listing the number of people with, um, one of these characteristics and then tack on all the other people who have um, the other characteristic. So just starting by listing the people with brown eyes, we've got Christina, Hema, Abian, Ashley, Madeline, Megan, and Camilla. Now let's add on the people who have curly hair. And so we need to add on um, Aaron, let's see, yeah, Aaron, and Maria. All right, so that would be our um, set C union B. Now let's count how many people are in that set. There are nine in that set. So the um, size of the set C union B is nine. Okay, and actually we don't have to, if we have done the first three steps, if we found N of C and we found N of B and we found N of C intersect B, we actually don't even need to work too hard to find N of C union B because there is a shortcut. And here is our shortcut. Right there. We'll make it green so you can see it even better. So if we want to find the number of elements in A union B, we just count up the number of elements in A, add in the number of elements in B, and then subtract off the number of elements in A intersect B. Okay, so why do we subtract off N of A intersect B? We do that because otherwise we're going to double count A intersect B. We don't want to count Hema, Abian, and Megan twice because they have both curly hair and brown eyes. We just want to count each of them one time. And so we have to subtract off Hema, Abian, and Megan. So if we use the shortcut formula for this example here, we would have 
5 plus 7 minus 3 equals 9, which is exactly what we counted up earlier. So we can use a shortcut formula so that it um, eases our counting work a little bit. Okay, let's see this in Venn diagram form. So if we want to find N of A union B, then we would count everything in A. Count everything in B. And then we can see that this intersection here is getting counted twice because it's getting shaded with both blue and purple. So we need to subtract off that pink region, that intersection, which is what we're doing right in here. Okay, so that's our shortcut. And um, it's presented in this way, n of a union b equals n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersect b. But um, really, as long as you have three of these pieces, you can figure out the fourth piece, right? If I tell you n of a union b and n of a and n of b, you can find n of a intersect b. So let's do an example there. So here's our shortcut formula. Say I tell you that n of a union b is 11. And I tell you n of a is 8. And n of b is 7. Then we can find n of a intersect b just by solving for n of a intersect b. So to solve for a intersect, n of a intersect b, we just need to put it on a side by itself. So if we do 11 minus 8 minus 7, or rather let's do um, n of a intersect b is equal to 7 plus 8 minus 11. And we can see that um, 7 plus 8 minus 11. Um, so we've got 15 minus 11, 4. So the number of things in the intersection of A and B is 4. OK, so we'll get some practice um, in section 6.2 working on counting the number of elements in a set. So that's what we'll do at the beginning of next week. All right, great.